A chairperson sir there. Ashok sir is there. Ashok sir yes, welcome. Ma'am. I am there. Dr. Ravi sir, Hello. namaste. Welcome, welcome Dr. Trivedi. Good evening sir. Good evening okay. sir. Nimesh sir Dr. is also there. Namaskar. Good Dr. evening sir. Abhen Dr. Avhankar has come. Yes yeah, sir, yes sir. I am there. Ravi sir is oh. there. Yeah. Good evening, uh, Dr. Ravi and uh, Ashok. Good evening Ravi to everybody. All of us. Good evening to everybody. Hello, hello, Ravi. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And uh, Ashok Trivedi, sir, we're meeting you for a few days. Yes, that's true. And a little bit of hair was before, but now we're not doing it. Oh, after doing anesthesia, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. How are you, Ravi? That's a nice one. That's a very nice one. <laughs> How are you, Ravi? Hi, Prasad. I'm fine. Yeah. Good, good. Nice seeing you after some time. Sir, our chairperson is here. I think we should. Uh, it's eight. Yeah, I think we should, we should start. start on time. Yes, we should start on time. Pavan, yeah. Pavan, please mute everybody. Calling <coughs> to take charge. Tufan, sir, can we start? Yes, we must start. I say two. We are in. We start in time. I'll uh, mute everybody, and only host will be host and co-host will uh, be able to unmute themselves. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No problem. Ah, who brought that? Yeah, start the uh, slides. Intro slides. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this nineteenth edition. Uh, I think we uh, will major cross कर जाएंगे इस बार. So so welcome all of you. Uh, the the rules of the game are simple. Uh, everyone will be on mute mode. The meeting will be recorded. And uh, today we are going to discuss about transactional analysis from our good friend. Uh, next slide. Yeah, all all of this thanks to Tofan Pati sir. he is the chairman of the program uh, he is a national advisory board member ipp uh, i think all of us know him very well he has organized so many programs he has been a leader in so many fronts so sir if uh, with apologies uh, without reading your full introduction can i no no no, no, no over no. to you this will be the i, I, I just i you. just wanted to add one line if, if i may be permitted sir has been awarded the prestigious doctor Amit Bora oration for the year award for the year 2020 by IPP. So that is one line which had to be added. Next slide. Over to you, sir. Thank you, thank you, Alim, and thank you, Amrit. And I have the job to introduce the Star Lords of Indian Psychiatric Society and the future of IPS, the young, vibrant Dr. Amrit Patojoshi and Dr. Alim Siddiqui. Amrit Patojoshi. works with me in high tech medical college is professor and a consultant neuropsychiatrist he is a direct council member of ips and is the editor of odisha Psych journal of psychiatry which is indexed and he had been the chief coordinator of unicef who ips initiative on telemedicine and psychosocial management and dr alim siddiqui from nababas nagar lucknow he is also a direct is member of ips next slide de do sab ko sab ke liye and he works I, uh, he is an active enthusiastic well informed much admired young leader of ips is a director of healthy minds neuropsychiatry and behavioral sciences center lucknow visiting professor of psychiatry in eras lucknow medical college he is the guest faculty at amity university he is finance secretary of ima lucknow and iapp up uk chapter welcome amrit and ali and thank you now we have with us two very dear persons of mine dr ravi avankar a very very old friend of mine who was kind enough to accept just on a call yes i shall be there he was past president of ips who joined in 1992 192 he is the past president of bombay psychiatric society 1988 89 he is past honorary general secretary of ips 95 to 97 the past chairman of awards committee of ips who joined chairman of the rehab psychiatric specialty section of ips consultant psychiatrist and head of the child guidance clinic and he is recipient of jsm arfatia gold medal and also distinction in md psychological medicine 
in his examination of University of Bombay in 1977. He is the recipient of Tiloka Venkubarai Award of IPS. He is the recipient of Best Paper Award of IPS for HN Conference. He is participant in WHO training program at Bachelor of Switzerland in 1981. More than 30 scientific papers in national and international journals. Contributed two chapters in the book of recent advances in the biology of schizophrenia, state of art. And he has several articles in press, general for general awareness, delivered many lectures. And his areas of interest are alcoholism, child psychiatry, genetic psychiatry, psychosomatic medicine, chief psychiatrist and director of Manas Hospital, psychiatric nursing home at Shaya in Mumbai, with honorary psychiatrist at RCF Hospital, Chimbor, and Lion TDM Hospital and Research Center, Shaya in Mumbai. With this inadequate introduction, I invite Dr. Ravi Avankar and now Dr. Tribedi is a student alumnus of KGMC Lucknow. He, is, he had training in demands in community psychiatry and addiction medicine. He worked as specialist in two different hospitals. He is a STOLEC member of IPS and president of Central Zone IPS. And he is the president of Chhattisgarh Psychiatric Society at present. And he is the winner of BBC Tourism. He's a dynamic person, a very eminent person of Indian Psychiatric Society. And with this, I welcome both the chairpersons. And now onwards, the stage is yours, Dr. Tribedi and Rabi. Over to Dr. Tribedi and Dr. Rabi. You need to unmute, sir. Sir, Dr. you Rabi. please unmute, sir. Sir. Dr. Ashok, sir, please unmute yourself, sir. Please unmute yes, yourself. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Are we? One and a half. One and a half. Please. You would like me to speak first? Yeah, now I think we'll start. Yes, both of you. It is with up to both okay. of you at this stage. <laughs> yeah, would you introduce uh, Dr. Monali or? No, I don't have her CV. Oh, one, please. I'll share it here. Share the CV. The CV is with us, sir. Yes. Yeah, Dr. Monal is consultant psychiatrist in Aurangabad, practicing for the last 13 years. She has interest in child psychiatry and obviously transaction analysis. It's actually very, very few psychiatrists are dedicated towards psychotherapy. And it's a good sign that she is taking interest in transaction analysis and continuing to follow up. She is Executive Committee Member, Indian Secondary Society West Zone. She is Convener, Psychotherapy Speciality Section. She was past Convener, Private Psychiatry Speciality Section, IPS, and President of Punk NGO for Mental Health Awareness. And besides psychiatry, she is a poet, dancer, and student for life. That's very nice. Well. Welcome, Monali. We are waiting to hear you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Now, before you speak, uh, Monali, I would uh, like to yes, speak a few words. Uh, the, before the advent of medicines and physical forms of treatment, the psychoanalysis was the sheet anchor of the treatment. Then uh, when medicines came, the psychotherapy and uh, psychoanalysis uh, was relegated to second place and then everybody wanted a biological psychiatry and they were confident that they will be able to treat all psychiatric illnesses with medicines. Now, I consider that the soul of psychiatry is psychotherapy. The psychotherapy is an art of psychiatry, whereas the medicine and the physical forms of treatments are the science of psychiatry. But we should not never forget that unless we combine both, the treatment is not complete, number one. And number two, the quality of life, which we wish 
to the patient is cannot be achieved. Your talk is going to be very um, interesting because um, this is one area in which very few persons are working. And uh, I think there will be a lot, lot of questions to follow. So like a student, I'm also eager to listen to you. Thank, Thank you. You may start, ma'am. Thank you so much, sir. Give me a moment, I'm just sharing the screen. Good evening, everyone. Uh, with the chairperson's permission, shall I start now? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so uh, at the outset, I would like to thank uh, the IPS Odisha State Branch and uh, Musings team, Amrit Alim and Topan Patti sir for having me here today. It is an honor to be a part of Thursday Musings. Uh, today, uh, when uh, Few days before when Amrit and Alim both called me up for uh, sharing my insights into transactional analysis, the first thing that came to my mind was a real daunting task to share the ocean of knowledge here uh, within one and a half hour, but I, I am going to try my best and uh, let us see how it goes. The flow of the uh, presentation would be understanding concepts of transactional analysis so that we understand the language. Uh, because transactional analysis has got its own uh, language. Uh, so when we talk about few cases, which I'm going to share at the end, if time permits, we will understand from where and why people behave in this manner. Now, uh, basically, uh, the topic was uh, titled stories. This is because all of us live stories in our life. And when we live our stories, most of the time we are unaware of why, how we are living. So transactional analysis would be looking into that aspects of stories of people, as well as uh, if, if one wants to introspect, it is also about us. Transactional analysis basically is more of an experiential learning rather than a theoretical learning. So we usually uh, encourage workshops of two or three days so that people uh, come together and actually experience and understand their own scripts and life stories and bring in that autonomy which uh, they have in their life. So uh, the knowledge learning uh, that we are going to have today would be more of a conceptual thing, but you might with the cases that I share as we go on, uh, will be able to relate with the clients that you have seen or probably with your own life also. Uh, now, this journey that I took uh, was almost 12 to 13 years before uh, when I was doing my post-graduation and I was actually uh, troubled with few questions uh, mm -hmm. that stayed un uh, that why people, even if knowing that this is going to harm them, uh, keep repeating the same things again and again as far as behavior is concerned. Uh, uh, why would an addict not think of de-addiction when he knows that uh, this is harming him? Why in certain marriages the peace is lost? All these questions always uh, fascinated me and that led me to the journey of transaction I started 12, 13 years back. Now, today I'm going to take you on this journey and uh, uh, I'm going to drive you through the presentation. And everyone should be assured that the driver today, uh, uh, that is me, is a trained uh, transactional analyst under Southeast Asia Association of uh, Transactional Analysis, and I have been uh, supervised by them since 13 years. Now, a request to Amrit and Alim would be, uh, if, if you feel I'm going a little slow, you can always ask me to accelerate. And if, if I'm going a little fast, you can always ask me to put a little break on the concept and uh, move on with it. Uh, Basically, a request to all of you would be, uh, number one, we have to have a little open mind when we are learning today. Uh, this is because if you have a skeptical mind and you have come here to check on whether this concept really makes any sense or uh, it, it is just something, 
that was uh, 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 an, an idea that was generated long back and doesn't make sense in today's life, I would want you to just have an open mind, understand, and then we move our, uh, forward. Another request would be, whatever concepts we are going to discuss today are not something that you learn and uh, immediately start judging people around you and use it against them. This is very important because uh, we tend to learn and immediately start pointing fingers at people that this person is like this, this person is like that. The concept of TA is not for that. It is more for personal growth and then experiential learning rather than this. Third important thing that I would want you to understand is uh, the cases that would be discussed are for an academic interest and they are not to be uh, probably again uh, reopened for uh, some pastime discussion. Uh, so uh, this is just a framework for a personal growth and uh, 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 gossiping over transactional analysis should be resisted. Right. So uh, basically, I'm unable to move the slide. Amrit, could you please help me out? Okay, yeah. So basically, uh, everyone knows Dr. Eric Byrne has started this concept and he brought in an idea of transactional analysis. I'm, and I'm really fascinated with this man's understanding of human mind. Uh, because he could understand all the concepts and could gather all things in a very simplified manner. And uh, since I'm practicing TA, I have realized all these years that uh, uh, probably people can relate. It is very relatable when you actually uh, explain them certain concepts. So uh, uh, Eric Byrne, a little about him. Uh, I won't be going into detail. You can just see over the slide that Eric Byrne has been uh, trained as a psychoanalyst earlier, but then uh, he had certain reservations regarding the concepts of psychoanalysis and he moved on further. Okay, now this is a very important uh, uh, definition of uh, transactional analysis and it is to be verbatim taken as defined by international association. So transactional analysis is a theory of personality and a systematic psychotherapy for personal growth and personal change. Most of the people feel that uh, uh, most of the psychotherapeutic techniques are something uh, which are being used by people who have a lot of time in their practice and they have nothing else to do. So they keep digging into people's life, uh, but it is not this way. It is a systematic psychotherapeutic technique and TA has got a beautiful philosophy associated with it, which says that it is for your own personal growth and personal change. And this is very, very important for all of us to understand. Now, when I entered into transactional analysis uh, uh, training, uh, they made certain things very clear that you as a therapist have to have an understanding into your own belief systems and your own values and principles which might at times interfere into uh, your being a therapist when you're sitting on that chair. Now, this is a very important thing. When we sit on that chair and when we help people, most of the time uh, what happens is we, we uh, do not uh, realize that our own value systems or our own belief systems are interfering into uh, the, the connect that we are making with that person. And, and we can get absolutely judgmental and opinionated about certain things if we do not actually look into our own belief systems. So TA always makes it uh, uh, very clear that you have to work on your own belief systems before you are actually working on your clients. And for me, uh, I was not permitted to work with the clients for at least eight to nine years into transactional analysis till I was there. Uh, what, is, uh, what is the contribution to psychotherapy? Before that, what is the contribution in personal life I would like to share? In personal life, what you get out of TA is peace of mind. You also get more productive hours because your hours are not lost into the games that you play in the society. Uh, your relationships stay stable and you get a, a basic purpose in life. Now, uh, Basically, if you look as a psychotherapist for, from the client's perspective, what it is contribution is like, it is a theory of personality. So you understand personalities that are coming to you and uh, through ego state model, TA explains that, which I'm going to explain in a uh, while. 
He also provides a theory of communication, which is very important. And most of the corporate organizational behavior books, if you go uh, look through, or if you go into the training of uh, uh, most of the industries, you will see that uh, the communication theory is always taken from transactional analysis. And uh, Landmark Forum, which runs uh, all over the world, has taken most of the part of communication theory from transactional analysis. Theo offers the theory of child development, which gives insight on how our present life patterns originated in childhood. And this is very, very important because what we are today has something to do with our childhood. And uh, uh, this concept is to be understood because uh, most of the time, the pattern that we live, uh, we are living out of uh, the child eco state that is active at that moment of time. He also gives a theory of psychopathology, which we will understand in a while. TA uh, helps you basically, uh, if you ask me then application level, TA helps you inquiring into uh, what is happening inside people's mind instead of what is happening outside world. So, so most of the time, the, the, the kind of behavior or the kind of reactions people have has something to do with uh, their internal world and TA, TA actually looks into that internal world. It is actually talking to the client rather than uh, talking at the client, which we do at most of the times. So the applications are uh, basically treatment of psychology, all kinds of psychological, psychiatric disorders, you can say. TA is used in educational settings by uh, the teachers to establish rapport with children and help them uh, become better human beings. Powerful tool in management, all the managerial people and organizational behavior use it, communication training, and also in understanding individuals, relationship and communications. Now, this is something that we are, now th this is uh, from where we actually start the actual transactional analysis. Now, these are the philosophical assumptions on which TA is based, and they are very profound. That is what I feel, and they are complete sentences in themselves. So the first is people are okay. Now, all of us, do you, do you all agree that all of us are not born bad? Do you agree to this? We are not born bad, isn't it? Is there anyone in this world who is born bad? I suppose we are not born bad. All of us are born absolutely okay individuals. Amrit is born bad. And Amrit is born bad? Okay, I will have to check on him. Amrit, we will check on you later. Yeah. So uh, we are all individuals who are born as those innocent babies with a brain. And then certain things starts happening around us, within us. And then we become a product of what we have experienced all these years. So... TA basically tells us that all people are okay. Now, why this is important is when someone is sitting in front of you and he has got certain psychopathology and he's sharing that psychopathology or probably has some behavioral issues, if we become judgmental and start looking at him from a one-up position, from where you, you feel that you are someone and he is someone who has got problems in his life and uh, he is to be looked down upon, then probably we are not going to uh, be giving justice to him as far as psychotherapeutic technique is concerned. So the basic premise is people are okay. We have to start from there. Now, the second important thing is everyone has capacity to think. Now, this is something which is very, very important because when you have capacity to think, you probably have a capacity to do something about that thinking and then move on on the action mode over the thinking that you have done. So everyone has capacity to think is a sentence which empowers us. It trusts us as a human being. It makes us and looks at us in a responsible manner. It involves all, us in the process of psychotherapy. So whenever we are getting into a psychotherapeutic technique of trans using psychotherapeutic technique of TA, most of the time, we believe that that person has got a capacity to think and we are not going to instruct him or tell him what is to be done, but we are going to make him a responsible individual with a lot of involvement. So you value the other person's insights, you value the other person and you consider him as worthy enough in a very dignified manner. Third important philosophical assumption of TA, people decide their own destiny and these decisions can be changed. 
Now, such an empowering uh, sentence. Uh, our destinies have nothing to do with stars, luck, cats, crossing the roads. And this sentence gives us a hope that even the decisions, if they have gone wrong somewhere down the line, they can still be changed at any moment of time. And this is something which is different in transactional analysis and psychoanalysis because transactional analysis believes that, okay, you are able to change the destiny. And psychoanalysis is, has got a real pessimistic outlook where in they believe that, okay, once done, it is done and it won't change. Okay, so before we go in, I would want Amrit's permission to actually talk to him in between, if it is okay with him. Yes, madam. Amrit, is it okay if I keep talking to you? Yes, madam. Okay. I, 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 no issues. Yes. So I will be talking to you, Amrit, and I, uh, I am a real intimidated with Ali because the way he keeps uh, uh, moving his hand on the beard. So I, I thought maybe I talk to Amrit and not to Ali. So. Um, uh, we'll move on with certain key ideas of tea. Another disclaimer that I want to make today before we move on is uh, I'm going to use a little bit of wife examples. And uh, this is because men would attend to the wife examples immediately uh, uh, because that is something that they claim that they never understand. So certain wife examples would be given today. And uh, girls, you please do not mind it because uh, we know everything. So, so we move on with the key ideas of transactional analysis. So the ego state model. Now ego, ego is not the ego that we use, but it is the mind that is being uh, replaced. So a mind state or an ego state is a set of related behaviors, thoughts, and feelings. It is the way we manifest a part of our personality at any given time. So any given time when I'm sitting here, you're sitting here and we are sitting, uh, there is a certain mind state that is active and that active mind state has got a set of behavior, thinking and feeling at that moment of time and that is known as ego state. The model portrays three distinct ego states. So if I'm thinking, behaving and feeling in response to what is going around me here and now currently. So as a grown up person, it is an adult ego state. So, so now, now that I am talking to you people and you people are listening, this is an adult mode that we are operating into or maybe a compliant child mode. Also few people might be into that compliant child mode listening. Most of us are in an adult mode responding, nodding and understanding. And I'm trying to like, connect with you from an here and now situation about the presentation. At times I may behave, think, and feel in ways which are copies of one of my parents or of others who were parent figures to me. When I do so, I'm said, said to be in parent ego state. Now, I will tell you how it goes uh, before we move to the next slide. Basically, when you're born, you have certain original likings and dislikes with which you are born. They are genetic within you. And there are certain wantings and not wantings that you have in life. An example of this is, uh, uh, Amrit, what color do you like? Red. Okay. Now, if I ask Amrit, why red? Why not uh, yellow color? Do you have an answer to this? Never thought about it. Never thought about it. And he, he, if he wants to just answer it for the sake of answering it, he might tell us that red looks more bright and is an aggressive and angry color. And therefore, I feel it is more powerful. So you can reason it out. But we never think about it. Why do we like red color? It comes from within. And which is which is the taste that you never would like, like any, any, any recipe that you would never ever try. Any recipe Amrit, which you will never try. Kareli ki sabji or something. Madam, what is it? What do you say? Lauki. Amrit will never try Lauki. Now why, why Amrit will not try Lauki? If I tell him Amrit, you are getting past 40. I need to remind you that even if you don't look like 40, you are going past 40, you are going to become diabetic in few years. Laukika juice is so important. Will you still listen to me? Madam, it is always related to a punishment food that was given when I was a child. Yeah. So, so Lauki uh, punishment food for Amrit, he doesn't like that. Now, this dislike for Lauki is an original Amrit, which, which no matter how much uh, anti-diabetic potential and uh, beauty treatment Loki deta hai ye mein Amrit ko kitna bhi bata du, he will grow handsome by a hundred uh, times. To bhi hindu nahi khaega Loki. Wo bolega, hai, even if I grow old, it is okay. 
so uh, basically these are things that you are born with this, this is the original self so i like this thing i do not like this thing similarly there are wants and not wanting so there are certain wants that we have in our life certain desires certain dreams that we have and uh, we we do not want certain things and and we see to it that we fight for it and we we see we, we do not listen to it so this is how our life usually start when we are born this continues till one one and a half year what happens in the second year is suddenly you start exploring the world you start moving around and then people get very uncomfortable because uh, you are trying to intrude into their space and objects and things like that so people will either push you pull you back to the cradle and and you are unhappy about it or they will start toilet training you because till that moment of time you were the center of the world and everything was revolving around you you could uh, do stuff anywhere and people were all wow 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 with whatever you did but now suddenly things change and uh, you are being trained to behave in such a in a particular manner so if if you listen you get the attention love if you don't listen then probably you are going to have certain issues in your life which includes shouts from parents and even a little so uh suddenly it changes and there are lots of things which are bombarded on you you have to do this do that lots of rules and regulations so those rules regulations that things of discipline those social etiquettes those get into the parent ego state of yours so you have to remove your chappal when you have to go in the temple that has been told to you and you do it without questioning you you do not question people right so so why do you i have to remove the chappal people in uh, christians carry it till uh, the uh, idol is not being questioned we just follow certain things and that goes in the parent ego state of yours now by by around 8 years apna dimag chalta hai तो जब अपना दिमाग चलता है तो फिर हमको समझ में आता है तो हमको टीचर हमारे मम्मी से ज्यादा अच्छा लगता है हमारे दोस्त हमको ज्यादा अच्छे लग सकते हैं एंड दैट हैपेंस व्हेन द अडल्ट इगो स्टेट स्टार्ट्स डेवलपिंग सो आई एम एक्सपीरियंसिंग थिंग्स आई एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट ओके माय मदर डजेंट अंडरस्टैंड मैथ्स बेटर देन माई टीचर बाई दैट टाइम यू 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 थिंक दैट यूर मदर इज क्वाइट इंटेलिजेंट इनफ बट वंस यू आर पास class 1 you start realizing and start comparing and start analyzing and start logically understanding what is happening and so the adult start part of your ego state starts developing so this is what it is sometimes i may return to the ways of behaving thinking and feeling which i used to be when i was a child even today even today amrit ko agar lucky de do to amrit chehra banayega then i am said to be in a child ego state this ego state model is known as a pac model in the language of transactional analysis now one believed that when we interact with other people our state of mind affects what happens now this is very important now when 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 i am going to talk to amrit and instead of answering me in uh, the ego state that i expect him to answer he does something else probably something is going to happen between us that we are going to understand in transactions a little later but ego states are important because when two people are talking to each other are communicating to each other that state affects in whatever is going to happen in future he believed that there were three states of mind in all human beings no matter how old they are so it doesn't matter even if you get old 100 years old you still will have these ego states so it is parent adult child so each ego state has a got its own verbal and non verbal characteristics which are observed if you are watching people and they have a positive and a negative aspect to it now uh, okay so a child ego state goes by i want i need satisfying me and parent ego state is you can't you must not it is not allowed and an adult would try to balance between the two okay so we are we, we are going to a functional model now now what has happened is uh, the ego states are divided into the parent ego state is divided into a critical or controlling parent ego state and a nurturing parent ego state now what is a critical parent ego state means is 
uh, that principle demanding stern, disapproving, disciplining kind of a protective conditioning that you have inside yourself. At baje shuru karna hai. Ye agar Alim ne bata diya, to Alim at baje shuru karenge. Now, if he doesn't do that, his critical parent will pop up and he will criticize Alim ki kaha gaya tha, kya kar raha tha, kyun chal nahi kya time pe. Do you get my point? So we have that critical parent, which always keeps us uh, on track. Then we also have a nurturing parent within us, which cares, forgives, and uh, permits us, reassures us. Exam jaan jaate samay, we need the reassurance by our own self, na ki thi ke padhai kiye ho jayega, bas chala ja, bas lik daye, nikal jayega bhai tu. So that is something which the nurturing parent within us does, right? Now, this critical parenting and nurturing parenting is not only for ourselves, but it is also for the world. So, so uh, if you if you have someone around you, you can be critically evaluating the other person and trying to discipline them. And similarly, uh, nurturing parent can be very much nurturing. So uh, women will always try to uh, uh, critically try to discipline uh, their husbands in which they fail miserably, but that is still what they keep doing again and again. Right. Now, an adult ego state is an autonomous, analytical, firm, emotional, real state. And it has got a good reality. Now, child is divided into two types, adult, wherein you adapt to the environment. Now, when I live, I am adapting to the environment. I'm continuously interacting with the environment. So, this adaption can be of two types. One is I, 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 I comply. I, I obey to whatever is being told to me. Another way of adapting is I rebel. And I rebel in two ways. One is a hidden rebel, another is an open rebel. Now, this scene in the house, 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 in the house. Everyone has got this scene. Mommy keeps telling us, in the house, in the house, and most of the time, uh, uh, we, we do do that. So, a hidden rebel would be, Mummy, I have taken oil in my hand and I am going to put it and when the mummy turns around, we will throw it away. And an open rebel would be telling mummy that no matter whatever you do, I am in control of my life and see to it that I, I will not put the tail on my head no matter whatever you do, do it. Right. So a challenging kind of a child is an open rebel kind of child and hidden child would still do what he wants to do but in a hidden manner. Now, a free child is something which is an our original self of a, a, a child who is feeling, expressing spontaneously without concern of consequences, reactions, and approvals of parents of the world. Uh, when we are taking the bath, when we are sleeping, when we are dancing all alone, we are a free child. When we are singing in the bathroom, we are a free child. So that is a free child. Now, now uh, is critical parent bad? Few people feel that critical parenting is bad parenting. No, it is not. So there is a positive part of critical parenting which promotes and protects us. So a doctor who is uh, telling the patient that you will have to stop smoking, enough of doing that, is critically protective towards the patient. Positive critical parent. A negative critical parent would be an opinionated parent who uh, keeps labeling the child as stupid child, good for nothing, tera kuch nahi ho sakta, bada ke chokidar banega, that kind of a parent. Now, positive nurturing parent genuinely helps. So I will always stand by you, no matter whatever it is. A negative nurturing parent is, is someone who amounts to pampering. So if you have been 25 years old, you have to eat your mom. My son is doing a lot of work, I So that, that is a negative nurturing parent. Similarly, a positive adapted child will follow, will follow whatever is being told to us. So compliance is, uh, something that is needed in life, isn't it? If, if Alim tells me, join karna, and if I don't comply and I come 8.30 because I am the speaker, he would really get upset about it. So compliance is needed. So positive compliance. Negative compliance is, uh, is, is a kind of not having an opinion of oneself. Few children will have career choices according to the parents and they comply even as far as career choices is concerned and they'll sulk for life. So that is a negative compliance. Now, Free child, positive free child, I am free, I am relaxing, I am doing my thing, and I am not harming anyone. Negative free child, my mood is that I am traffic signal and I am running away from the car. So that is a negative free child. So we have both positives and negatives in both of them. Right? Uh, 
Okay. So, um, is it okay? The speed is okay? Alim? The speed I is think, okay? I think thoda sa, thoda sa fast chalne se better hai. Magao ha? Thoda sa. Magao? Yes. Okay. What's the time, by the way? 8.41. Okay. Oh, God. So, we are going to uh, move in for the structural uh, pathology now, which is very important for all of us to understand. Uh, right. Mm. Structural pathology deals with common anomalies in the psychic structure, whether two common things, exclusion and contamination. I'm not going to get into detail of everything because it is really difficult, but still I'm trying to uh, move on with. Uh, okay. There is something which, uh, before we talk about exclusion, is uh, uh, in practice, we ask people to draw an uh, egogram. Egogram is wherein you uh, actually tell them to draw a bar of uh, an introspection of their own self, which ego state is how much in their case. Right. Now, why this is to be done is if someone has a very high critical parent, we need to bring in that insight that, okay, your critical parent is a little high. You really need to probably lessen it down. Now, we have a very beautiful constancy hypothesis in transactional analysis, which says that if, if you decrease one ego state, another improves and increases by itself. So if critical parenting decreases, nurturing parent bound in this. This is very important. And this is psychiatric cases where rebellious children are being brought. Whenever you have a rebellious child, always remember to find out whether one of the parent is critical or not. Right. So uh, we come to the structural pathology. Okay. So uh, now it is manifested by stereotype to predictable uh, attitude, which is steadfastly maintained as long as possible in the face of any threatening situation. So we have to understand we are threatened by the environment at times psychologically. We are not liking certain things the way someone is talking to us. And therefore, uh, uh, when, when, when we have this, uh, we usually uh, get into either exclusion or uh, we, we might have contaminations also, which we will see in a while. The ego states which are not functioning are called excluded ego states, while the one which dominates the cause of this exclusion is known as excluded ego state. So sometimes, uh, I, I'll give you an example, borderlines uh, usually have an excluded parent. So their parent is not existent. So they have a child which uh, is very impulsive and does his, his or her own way. Contamination is best illustrated by certain types of prejudices on one hand and by delusion on the other. Adult is usually contaminated by parent. That is the parental values and slogans are taken as factuals and they're not checked when once your adult develops and there are certain child feelings and beliefs which also might contaminate. Double contamination will have both. Okay, so this is an adult contamination uh, by a parent, which is known as prejudices in our life. Uh, all blacks are thieves. All Negroes are thieves, right? So this is one of the prejudices. Uh, uh, people can't be trusted is another, which uh, few parents will instill into uh, the children. Adult contaminated by child is a delusion, which we all see routinely. So delusions can be, I am not good, which is a nihilistic delusion people have. I am born ugly or I am being pointed out. People are against me. So uh, next is double contamination. Double contamination, you have both. So you, you have got parents who have instilled into you that people can't be trusted. And a child who has got an experience of itself, which says I can't trust, any, trust anyone in my life. Okay, so speaking of this excluded parent and excluded ego state. Now, in this case, if you see uh, in this diagram, the parent is the excluding ego state. So it is excluding the adult and child. So uh, a, a kind of a person who would always be following rules to the T. So, so uh, a, a person who have no fun in, doesn't have any fun in his life and, and uh, only has uh, certain rules and regulations to be looked into or finds flaws here and there. So that kind of a person. Okay, so if, if, how do you recognize such a person? So if you ask such a person, how do you feel? How do you feel today? So the answer that you get is you have to feel calm in such states. So most of the time they will use, you have to feel calm. So he's going to tell me what is to be done. Instead of I'm asking you, how are you feeling? Instead of that, he will say, what is to be done in such a case? Now, this is an excluding adult. Good, good businessman, good businessman, good successful people. 
who are very logical and not emotional at all, very insensitive at times, and and uh, uh, they 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 only see logic into everything. So, कई बार कई बार there are females who would complain in marriage कि हर जगह logic लाते हैं, मेरी feelings को समझते ही नहीं हैं. तो हर के विल रीजन और समथिंग ही विल ब्रिंग हियर एंड नाउ इसमें ऐसा क्या है उसमें कैसा एंड ही विल रीजन व्हाट वो हाईली सक्सेसफुल बिजनेस इंडिविजुअल्स दीज आर एंड एंड दे आर वेरी कैलकुलेटिव एंड लॉजिकल मैरिज आल्सो दे विल सी टू इट दैट दे मैरी अ समवन हु इज गोइंग टू बेनिफिट देम इन फाइनेंसेस एंड अदर एरियाज ऑफ लाइफ इन प्रेस्टीज एंड स्टेटस एंड एवरीथिंग दे वेरी कैलकुलेटिव इंडिविजुअल्स एक्सक्लूडिंग चाइल्ड पर्सनालिटी डिसऑर्डर्स दैट वी सी यूजुअली हिस्टोनिक्स बॉर्डर लाइंस इंपल्सिविटी they have a lot of impulsivity in them they are uh, individuals who would uh, go by what they feel rather than what is needed and what is to be done in life okay so uh, here the adult and child is active and the parent is completely excluded you can see this in some mild form of borderline where adults are active so you can definitely communicate to them and uh, they will talk to you uh excluded adults so parent child always confused individual this individual will always be very confused because the child would say something the parent would say say something and there is no adult to balance between both so non decisive individuals who are poor decisive decision makers and who are always confused about many things in their life land up here and uh, excluded child parent and adult only are headstrong people cold fish uh so they they are very strong and uh, they have excluded their child they never have fun and uh, they will always uh, uh, be doing tasks i'm not going to get into the details of this this is how we diagnose the ego states by watching the behavior uh, social diagnosis is by uh, observing the transaction so when when i speak to the other person from where the other person is uh, uh, speaking to me so all these ego states can be uh, present in a different uh, uh, manner with different individuals so historical diagnosis by understanding the parental and phenomenological is how how when when you are talking to the person how is really living it here in front of you at the moment okay so we have come to the next concept of transactions which is very important so i am communicating with i'm communicating with you i can choose to address you from any one of my three ego states right so you can reply in turn from any of your ego states this exchange is known as transaction so i give you one stimulus and you answer me from some ego state this is one transaction one unit of communication now the analysis of this is known as transactional analysis proper transaction essentially is an exchange of strokes along with ideas information feelings opinion between two persons consisting of a transactional stimulus transactional response between specific ego states that is the definition now we have three types of transactions okay complementary parallel or crossed and ulterior right now uh complementary is i am giving a stimulus to a specific ego state and i get an answer from that ego state to which i have approached to do so that is a complementary so it it becomes a parallel vector if you draw pac here and if you draw pac here it is a parallel vector crossed is when i expected an answer from a specific ego state but instead of that the other person moves into some other ego state and answers then it is a crossed ulterior has got two meanings one is a social meaning and a psychological meaning behind it complementary would be alim sir am i am i going correct and he says yes yes i you you're going correct okay fine fine so this is complementary i asked him adult to an adult question complementary transaction now instead of that if i if i say alim sir am i going correct or is it is it uh, going slow and if alim answers to me खुद के पास घड़ी नहीं है क्या लैपटॉप में घड़ी दिखाई नहीं दे रही है क्या खुद देख लो क्या करना है देखो क्या करना है खुद का दिस इज क्रॉस ट्रांजेक्शन आई जस्ट वेरी नाइस मैन एंड ही इज क्रिटिकली टेलिंग मी फ्रॉम हिस क्रिटिकल पेरेंट कि खुद की घड़ी में देखो खुद को समझ में नहीं आ रहा क्या करना है दिस इज अ क्रॉस ट्रांजेक्शन अल्टीरियर इज नाउ आई 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 गो ऑन बिकॉज ट्रांजेक्शनल एनालिस इज वेरी नियर टू माई हार्ट सो आई गो ऑन एंड ऑन बारह बज गए अमृत अभी वैसे भी इज गेटिंग बोर्ड and uh, he is yawning and 12 baje amrit ka har minute mein 10 yawn aa rahe hain to fir main amrit ko puchti hu amrit sahi chal raha hai kya ya aur 15 20 minute le lu to amrit would say ha ha le lo na apna hi time hai musings ka apna hi hai har chalne do chalne do tumhara so 
Now, when Amrit says, Chalne do tumhara, doesn't mean in literal sense that Chalne do mera. Do you get my point? So if I continue, take it in literal sense and continue uh, the musings, Amrit will be really mad at me and we'd see to it that I am never ever called on any lecture. So this is, this is an ulterior transaction where in the meaning behind Chalne do was something else. It was like, please now understand, stop your nonsense talk that you have been doing since two hours. Bhat ho gaya, bhat samaj liya, humne. Abhi, abhi band karo ye, mujhe bhook lagi hai, sona hai. Right? That is the ulterior transaction. So, uh, there are four main types of transactions that is, uh, we have seen. These are complementary. I'm just going to go a little faster here because I suppose everyone has understood this. So a manager asking you, why are you three hours late? He said, I'm sorry. Okay, this is a complimentary transaction. Ross would be, you're three hours late. I want an explanation instead of this. Oh, didn't you get held up in the crash in the motorway? Ulta usi ko question kar raha hai. So ye ho gaya cross transaction. Altitir has got a hidden message. Right. Uh, ulterior transactions, we have two uh, uh, types of ulterior transactions. One is an angular, another is a duplex transaction. I'll give an example of angular. Let us not get into duplex because it is in uh, theory in itself. So angular transaction is, Manlo uh, Alim sir, chale jante hai, car lene. Car lene jante hai, aur bivi ko saath le jante hai. Aur wo sales person dikha raha hai, aapki bivi ko ek bhoat achhi car pasand a gai hai, and uh, she's really wanting to have The same person gives you all different kinds of, uh, uh, uske jo bhi features hai, uska explanation. And phir dheere se bol deta hai, ki, um, देखो फीचर्स तो सारे कुछ हैं कार में पर आपकी तरफ देखकर मुझे बिल्कुल ऐसा नहीं लग रहा कि आप इसको लेने की हैसियत रखते हो डू यू गेट माय पॉइंट नाउ अलीम का अगर मैं हैसियत निकाल दूं वो भी बी के सामने ये कौन है मेरी हैसियत निकालने वाला मैं इसको दिखाता हूं you get my point so sales people do that sales people do that they will actually give you an angular transaction wherein you can get hooked up you get hooked up and immediately you will try to prove the point and the purpose is solved for them right duplex has got two social meaning and two psychological meaning let us not get into the details of that because it is really beyond uh, the uh, understanding of uh, this uh, lecture now um, what are the rules of communication? Rules of communication is so long as the transactions remain complementary, we can continue indefinitely. We can kill each other. Cross is going to be one ego state. We have to shift one ego state. If we don't do it, then it will be banging. We will bang on both sides, we will bang on both sides. And in the ulterior, the behavioral outcome is always determined at the psychological level and not at the social level. This is very important. Just like I have told you, that if you have taken your hands, then you will show the car to the car. Okay. Uh, sales people do that. So we have completed with the transactions. Uh, now, very important concept. Another concept is stroke. So stroke is a recognition that I give you. Stroke is the recognition that I give you. Very important thing. Every one of us is living to get that recognition. Isn't it? And with the advent of social media, I think the need of uh, uh, getting strokes is further increasing in every individual. So all of us want that appreciation continuously, and, and, and the need of that recognition has gone to a very different level. People need strokes to maintain physical and psychological well-being, but to some extent, we all need stroke, and uh, that is needed for our social and psychological well-being. Okay. If you ask ourselves, what is the purpose of my life? The answer to, to get what I want, isn't it? How do you get that? By seeking what we want and by awarding what we don't want, right? As simple as that. Now, uh, strokes can be given in a verbal form. I, I, I greeted everyone when I came. This was a recognition that I gave to the Thursday music team, verbal. Non-verbal is namaste, right? When, when you say, the reason for which strokes are given are conditional, giving for doing. 
So uh, because I was being invited here, I thanked everyone. So given for doing, recognizing you for giving me an opportunity to be here. Unconditional is for the being. So, so uh, friends may being, even if uh, you do not do anything, friends ke sa, ka hamara unconditional stroking hota hai. Right, a mother infant unconditional stroking, right? The types of strokes are positive pleasure causing or giving it pain causing. Positive strokes are, hai na, mene, mene agar aapko ek acha compliment de diya, so you will be happy about it. Negative is, mene aapko kuch unta sida bol diya, so that is a negative stroke, negative recognition. Okay. So unconditional positive is I love you for no reason. For no reason. I'm not giving any reason. I just love you for what you are. Conditional positive is if you come first, surely I will gift you a motorcycle. So I have a condition. Okay. Conditional negative is if you do this behavior, I will do this or mobile or will do Wi-Fi connection. Unconditional negative is I hate you. You being alive is a problem for me. I don't need you. Merge off. That is an unconditional negative. Okay. Now, the, these are certain principles which are very important in strokes. Any stroke is better than no stroke. Always remember this. Now, me and Amrit, if we cross in conference, and I, I, I just absolutely do not have any facial expression, even if I see him and just go away, Amrit will be wondering, kya, kya Amrit? क्या दिमाग में आएगा मैं अगर बिना कुछ एक्सप्रेस किए वहां से निकल गई सीधा अमृत यू खिसक गई हैं आप खिसक गई है खिसक गई है मोनाली का स्टक गया है डू यू गेट माय पॉइंट सो ही विल थिंक खिसक गई है बिकॉज़ आई डिड नॉट रिकॉग्नाइज हिम इवन व्हेन आई नो हिम एज अ वेरी गुड फ्रेंड ऑफ माइन so uh, any stroke is better than no stroke. If I frown, then at least Amrit will say that he will talk about it. Why are you making a face? What happened? 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 You get my point. So even a negative stroke is better than a, uh, a no. Conditional is preferred because unconditional is forced from me. See, this is a very important thing. We prefer conditional because unconditional is not in life. It is very rare. Nobody loves you for no good reason. You have to give reasons for being loved. And this is the irony of being uh, uh, um, uh, intellectual human beings, I suppose. Uh, animals can unconditionally love, but uh, human beings need all those conditions. Even a negative stroke is okay because positive is uncertain. Right? Now, before we go into time structuring, I am just going to uh, share a few things about stroke because that is very important for all of us to know. Now, uh, why, why stroke? Why, st what is the importance of stroke? Strokes are important because that is how you can regulate someone else's behavior, right? So, if, if I want my child to uh, actually study, I might tell him uh, and give him a conditional stroke that, okay, if you study today, I might make alu paratha for him to today evening. So, so this is how stroking is important. Stroking helps us and keeps us inspired and motivated to do stuff for people around us. That is why strokes are there. Now, what has happened is, it is a thing that can control someone else's behavior and hence, we have stroke economy. Now, what does this stroke economy say? Is don't give strokes when you have them to give. I have a lot of strokes to give. I can appreciate people, but I will still not give. I will not give them to me. Why do we do that? So that people don't fall down. If a child has 95, I will say, okay, I can, I, I can appreciate him very well, but I will not say it. Because I am afraid that if I have said it, he will take 95 the next time, he will not increase more. So I will not give. Don't ask for strokes when you need them. So I uh, have a good dress and I want my husband to compliment. But I will not ask him directly, I will keep roaming around. उसके आगे पीछे मैं घूमती रहूंगी दो चार चक्कर लगाऊंगी और बेचारा पेपर में गड़ा हुआ है तो उसका ध्यान आपकी तरफ नहीं गया तो दिस विल क्रिएट अ वेरी बिग ड्रामा लेटर तो आपको पूछना है कैसे दिख रही हूं तो आप सीधा पूछे सीधी बात कीजिए हाउ एम आई लुकिंग टुडे आई वांट यू टू टेल मी ऑनेस्टली इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट पीपल विल नॉट आस्क फॉर स्ट्रोक्स डोंट एक्सेप्ट स्ट्रोक्स इफ यू डोंट वांट देम सो देयर आर देयर आर फ्यू पीपल देयर आर फ्यू पीपल उनको अगर हम बोलते हैं कुछ उल्टा सीधा तो उसको वो रिजेक्ट नहीं करते उसको एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं खा लेते हैं मनी मन में उसको जमा करते हैं दैट हर्ट यू विल यूज एज एन इंस्ट्रूमेंट लेटर इन योर लाइफ पीपल डोंट रिजेक्ट डोंट रिजेक्ट स्ट्रोक व्हेन यू डोंट वांट देम सो 
आपको अगर कुछ नहीं चाहिए तो आप उसको रिजेक्ट नहीं करोगे एंड लास्ट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज डोंट स्टोक योर सेल्फ वी आर बींग टोल्ड टू सिंस चाइल्ड हुड की खुद का ही आप खुद को स्टोक मत कीजिए आपको कोई जरूरत नहीं है खुद के लिए अच्छा बोलने की वो वो ब्रैगिंग लगता है बिल्कुल मत बोलना नेवर सी दैट आई एम अ गुड पर्सन इट डजेंट लुक नाइस सो डोंट स्टोक योर सेल्फ दैट इज बींग टोल्ड एंड देर फोर वी आर वेरी क्रिटिकल अबाउट अवर ओन सेल्फ सिंस अवर चाइल्ड हुड right now there is one counterfeit stroke which uh, is very commonly used by people like uh, if i say alim it is a nice shirt so alim would feel that it is a positive stroke that i'm giving him instead of that i complete the sentence by second hand exhibition lucknow mein laga to wahan se liya kya do you get my point so i started with a very good positive stroke but i ended with a very sarcastic comment which social circles mein people do always and marshmallow are those plastic strokes wherein you unnecessarily flatter other people and uh, there is an complete ingenuousness towards it another myth about strokes is uh, if you ask for stroke agar main mang leti hu aapse kuch aur uh, to uska value kam ho jata hai to so, uh, ye ye bahut uh, uh, wrong cheez hum palte hain aur isi uh, isi ki wajah se uh, log bolte hain ki maine mangne ke baad usne bola to kya fir uska kya use hua it is not useful enough now it doesn't have any worth this is a very wrong thing in marriage counseling we see to it that we tell both the parties that whatever you want to ask you ask openly and genuinely now coming to time structuring when people are transacting in groups or pairs they use time in various specific ways and this is known as time structure in uh, transactional analysis okay so uh this is how we actually structure our time so once we get up until we sleep we actually are going through these things that we do in our life now what is withdrawal withdrawal is the inner world that we attend to at times we just sit and think within our head right so that is an withdrawal that we actually practice uh, maybe for some time some minutes to few hours in the day now schizophrenic withdraw people who have schizophrenia they withdraw because the fear rejection from the world they already have that delusion that people are against so they 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 fear that rejection so most of their time will go in withdrawal so they they keep them within their own world and keep thinking now rituals are those learned behavior or that social interaction of shaking hands with people or doing stuff which is a ritualistic stuff in the day going for puja and are taking a bath so your time goes there so those are rituals now uh, in rituals the stroking is predictable so if i shake hand i'm going to get a handshake back predictable ritual is but predictable concern it's not done to satisfy the parents expectation something was told to me this is to be done in this way so i'm doing it so parents expectations are fulfilled in rituals now past times is when we talk about like past times we were talking about how things are kaisa hai kya hai before we started the actual uh, lecture so uh, prasad rao sir was asking me about uh, certain things i was answering him to hum log weather ki idhar udhar ki baatein kar rahe the that is past time that we do now activity is uh, the work that we do this is the work that i'm doing this is the work that you people are doing so most of our time in life who are individuals who are achievers and individuals who are Uh, um, uh, normal in the definition of normalcy, uh, maximum time goes in activity. Uh, it is a conditional, a positive or conditional negative strokes you might get as far as activity is concerned. Last two very important games. Now games are certain things that we unknowingly keep doing in our life, wherein there is an hidden agenda, ulterior transactions going on, and you end up having a bad feeling at the end of the day. do we play, play games every day not really uh, but we keep playing games on and off and intimacy is actually something that one has to practice more and more as compared to rest of the things wherein you express your authentic feelings be it anger be it happiness be it whatever uh, so intimacy is something that has to be uh, 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 we accept the responsibility of our own feelings. It is a child. It, it basically a child ego state is actually changing with another. Uh, uh, it means nothing to the physical entity that uh, we usually use in uh, normal English language. 
But this intimacy is about being genuine, being authentic, being real. And uh, uh, we actually have a child interaction under an adult supervision and parent protection when we are intimate with someone. Now coming to the very important thing is that is this. Now say, the student actually being, being unaware of um, it. Uh, I had long back written something about it. Uh, so script is uh, having certain things which are common amongst all of us. हमारे साथ में सभी एक में कुछ कॉमन चीजें हैं और वो आज हम देखेंगे कि क्या है। Now each of us in child writes a life story for himself or herself, and this story has beginning, middle, and end. Of course, there has to be an end. We write the basic plot in our infant years before we are old enough to talk about it. Most of it has been written by the age of seven. Few people in TF seven people believe it is still ten. We may revise it further during adolescence. As grown-ups, we usually no longer are aware of being done, and we are likely, though we are likely to live it out faithfully, we are unaware of it, but we live a specific pattern, and that is what is life script. Okay. Now, uh, before we move on, I just wanted to tell you there are three types of script that people live. One is a winning script, another is a loser script, another is a panel script. Now, winner's script is something where in um, uh, basically, uh, I, I decided to become a queen. And, and later in my life, actually, winner script doesn't mean a success script. Basically, winner script means that uh, uh, whatever you have decided as a goal in your life, you fulfill it. So if I decide to be a beggar and become a beggar, then that still would be a winner script. Pavan, so how is becoming disturbed at times? What can be the solution? Madam, you can just switch off your video and maybe play the uh, audio, then it will uh, be better. Uh, uh, Amrit, 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 can you share her screen that you also said uh, when we... Alim, Alim, you share it, right? I think I think first first uh, let us Chash. try to yeah uh, Morali, I, I have turned yeah, off now this is better this is better uh, huh. let us see. is this better yes yes it is continue please okay so uh, basically then uh, we were talking about winner script so winner script is whatever goal I've decided for my life and I live up to it then that is a winner script loser script is I decided to become a beggar and I suddenly I become a king. Then it is a loser script, even if I'm becoming a And another script is I decide nothing. I just live because I am being brought up in this world. So I continue living with no expectations. So I just, local, if you look at local, there are many people who are standing और उनके चेहरे आप देखो कि तुमको आपको लगेगा इसका कोई गोल नहीं है लाइफ में ये बस खड़ा है ये सुबह जाता है पकड़ता है लोकल शाम को घर आता है दैट इज इट सो दोस आर बैनल स्क्रिप्ट्स राइट सो देयर माइट बी कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्क्रिप्ट्स आल्सो सो आई माइट बी विनर एट वर्क आई माइट बी अ लूजर इन द रिलेशनशिप एंड आई माइट बी बैनल एज फार एज हेल्थ इज कंसर्न सो मैं एक्सरसाइज भी नहीं करूंगी कुछ भी थोड़ा बहुत इधर उधर का खा के मैं बस जिंदा रहूंगी सो बैनल स्क्रिप्ट एज फार एज हेल्थ Loser with the relationship problems in relationship, but I might be a silly and successful individual. There. Ah, uh, right. So, what are the characteristics of script? Script is a like uniform specific drama. It is directed towards a payoff. Script is decisional, not solely decided by external forces, but the way you have reacted to the things and those experiences that you had as a child. Script is reinforced by parents. Because you live script to fulfill their expectations. Script is outside your awareness. This is very important. Do not know. And reality is reality so that you justify that self-fulfilling prophecy is something that happens here. 
Okay, so decisions represent infants' best strategy for surviving in the world, which often seems hostile and even life threatening. Why does we? Why do we have to live the script? Because we are dependent, vulnerable when we are brought in this world. And if you want to still survive in this world, you will have to fulfill the expectations of the environment around you. So, fulfill your survival needs. That is the reason you start living up to their expectations. Script decisions are made on the basis of infants' emotions and reality testing. So, मुझे तब जब जो समझ में आया उस हिसाब से मैंने कुछ decisions लिए मेरे जैसे emotions थे और जितना मुझे दिया हुआ था जितनी समझ दी हुई थी उस हिसाब से मैंने किया Okay, before we go to the life positions, I just want you to understand few things in script. Okay, so uh, there are certain commands which the parents have given to us, and and most of you will relate to these commands. One command is hurry up, है ना जल्दी जल्दी करो जल्दी जल्दी करो स्कूल जाना है. So ये hurry up हमारे दिमाग में जो बैठ जाता है तो हम हमेशा ही hurry up करते हैं. ठीक है? Now there are two ways in which the child might react to hurry up. Either he will comply to the hurry up. or he will see toward that he always goes late by rebelling to it this is the command that has been given to you second thing is get lost hai na main 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 bahut kaam mein hu tum jao bhai yahan mein mat rao so get lost is something which is a command which is given children who have got this command are individuals who feel that they are not worthy enough they don't do they they feel very invaluable and uh, uh, not worthy poor self esteem these individuals might have uh, do as you are being told don't think you you have to do what you is being told to you and don't bother me is another command that is being given now attributions are something that uh, uh, is being told to you about what you are as a person so sometimes we are being told you are a good person you are stupid you are so beautiful you are intelligent and you are good at reading so then the person becomes an avid reader something of that sort so uh, sometimes they are delivered to you directly and sometimes they are indirectly delivered to you when you the father is talking to the neighbor saying that my daughter is so beautiful and you overhear it so so you live up to that thing and you believe that okay you are actually beautiful now there are certain things which are known as counter injunctions in scripts counter injunctions are very important because whenever we analyze the script we have to find out these counter injunctions these are parent to parent messages parent ego state of the parent to the parent ego state of the child number 1 counter injection commonly given is be perfect always be perfect in whatever you do you see so many of your clients who are actually under the pressure of being perfect right second important thing be strong rona nahi kabhi kabhi rona nahi life mein chahe kuch bhi ho jaye rona galat cheez hai and men are always to stay strong never cry so all this is being told to you try hard हमेशा ट्राई करते रहना हार्ड जितना हार्ड ट्राई करोगे उतना ज्यादा सक्सेसफुल होगे प्लीज पीपल विल ऑलवेज कीप ट्राइंग कीप ट्राइंग कीप ट्राइंग प्लीज अदर्स ये तो हम हमेशा देखते हैं कि पीपल हु वांट टू लाइक नॉट डू सर्टेन थिंग्स विल कीप डूइंग सर्टेन थिंग्स ओनली टू प्लीज अदर्स इवन इफ दे आर एब्सोल्युटली नॉट वॉन्टिंग टू डू इट हरी अप इज अनादर वन राइट now uh, uh, there are certain injunctions and permissions that are also being given which i am going to uh, tell in a while programs are an adult to adult transmission ki kaun si cheez kis tarah se ki jati hai writing kaise kiya jata hai screw kaise lagaya jata hai hai na clothes kaise wash kiye jate hain now injunctions are very important injunctions and decisions are non verbal messages that are being given by the parents to the child through their behavior and facial expressions and gestures right so the first which is very important is don't exist don't exist there are parents who na who had unwanted pregnancies they wanted to abort the child but still they had a child so uh, they they indirectly keep telling the child some way or the other way Sometimes there are few foolish parents who directly tell the children कि मुझे तो abortion करना था पर फिर दादी ने मना कर दिया इसलिए मैंने तुमको रख लिया Now to hear this, it is such a difficult thing for a child to hear that he was not a wanted person. So don't exist is an injunction. Don't be you. Don't be the sex and gender you are because we wanted a girl child or we wanted a boy child and you became something else. Don't be a child. now few parents are so overwhelmed with the daily chores and the problems in their life that they actually put so much of pressure on the child to grow up as fast as possible so the child is expected to operate the gas burner at the age of 6 or 
the child might be scared. So, so don't be a child because the parents are overwhelmed with work and they, they will always play the poor me wala thing. That we are doing so much work, you are going to get a big job, you are going to get a big job, you are going to get a big job, you are going to get a big job. This sentence in Indian families is always going to happen. So don't be a child. Then don't grow up. Few parents would want the children to be dependent on them for life and they don't want the child to grow up, have his individual thinking process. And mind you, I have seen a lot of clients where the parents do not want a child to think for himself. The parents decide everything right from what t-shirt he is going to wear for the party. Don't do anything. There are parents who don't want the children to do anything so that they depend and stay dependent on them. Narcissistic parents would want to do that. Don't be important. Narcissistic parents would always see to it that the child is not important. He doesn't become famous. Unko threat ho jata hai. So they see to it that he stays an average. Don't belong, don't be close. Ha, there are few uh, people who always will say, I don't want people to get close to me. This is an injunction which was being transferred to them because the mother was paranoid and the mother never trusted anyone. So she always kept telling the child, don't let anyone close, don't let anyone close. Fasa dete hai log, kuch gadbar kar denge. Uh, don't think, don't feel, always stay strong, never cry. So these are certain injunctions. There are many more, but I have uh, so taken a few of them, right? Now, our life course, the way we live, the way we actually live our life depends on four important things. One is the heritage. The next important part is, my genes are some things that my parents have put in my jeans. I have been carrying them all these years. Second is external events. The events have an influence on me. Third is the script. Okay. The script that I live unaware of. And fourth is the autonomous decision I might be able to take if I understand that I am living my script and I want to change certain things that uh, my script is interfering with. The goal of transactional analysis is to actually disconnect that rubber band that you have with your script. So you disconnect that rubber band and see to it that you come and open. Uh, there are a few scripts wherein uh, people say ki, jab tak ye ho jayega, tab tak main, um, uh, ye nahi karunga. Jab uh, nahi jayega, to shayad main, uh, ek bhi jagay party pe nahi jaunga. This is an until script. After script is, uh, who believe that ki, uh, aaj lecture mein acha de diya, to abhi mere saath kuch bura hone wala hai. So they, they feel, aaj agar, uh, uh, these slides are stuck, madam. Life positions pe mein baad mein Thank you so much. Okay, so never. Uh, I think I, I will. So time ko manage karna padega. Bhagao. Bhagao. Thoda sa, yeah. Okay, bhagati. Yeah, so we will not get into the details of script. We will move on to life positions. Okay. Okay, so life positions are I am. Uh, Okay, a lot of people get stuck in one ego state more than the other two uh, due to their early childhood experiences. So if, if I am being considered worthy enough in my life, then I feel that I am okay. My parents have given and accepted me the way I am. I feel I am okay. And if, if, if I get an environment which has been good to me, I will consider that you are also okay. So this is a life position which I usually live with. I am okay, you are okay. Few individuals are uh, unfortunate enough, so they don't get a very good childhood and uh, they, they are not made to feel, feel worthy enough. So they say, I'm not okay, you are okay. So the parents are okay, I'm not okay. And uh, a few people get into that arrogant, paranoid wala idea and they say, I am okay, you are not okay, right? And there is a fourth state of life position where I am not okay and you are not okay, which is a very futile kind of a situation which is mostly seen in psychotics, wherein they feel neither they are good nor... Uh, People are good. Okay. So, uh, sometimes we distort our perception. Now, this is a very important concept which we have to use and a little bit of cognitive behavior therapy is also utilized here. So, uh, I, I mean to say these are the concepts which are common in CBT and uh, this thing. We distort our perception of reality so that it fits into our script. And when we do that, we are said to be in redefining mode. Another way is we discount, we blank certain aspects. 
Uh, I'll give you an example of this thing. If if uh, if I compliment uh, 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 say someone saying that you are looking good today, she would say, "Arey haan, wo dress mehenga hai, isliye acha lag raha." So this is discounting my compliment. I complimented you as a person, but you discounted to fit into your script, which says that you are not okay and people are okay. This is very important. There is a symbiosis between relationship and uh, a question which used to be there in my mind as a postgraduate student was. uh why why few people stay in a relationship which is very toxic the reason is here because it is a symbiotic relationship it is a symbiotic relationship where in a narcissistic a, a husband gets a dependent for a wife and and both are playing games with each other but uh, it it complements them so so they stay in a symbiotic relationship the ego states are complementary most of the time yeah this is something which is very important and we see to it that we find out those those racket feelings certain feelings are being encouraged as a child so uh, i i am encouraged to to sulk i am encouraged to to be sad i am encouraged to to be angry those are racket feelings that you carry in your life okay so uh, if you carry a lot of racket feelings together we save the stamps which we can use when uh, 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 when we have a, a bad fight so uh, stamps hum jama karke बाद में निकाल सकते हैं जब भी हमको चाहिए होता है तो हम वो सारे हर्ट जमा कर करके बाद में उसको यूज करेंगे नाउ कमिंग टू गेम गेम इज अ रिपीटेटिव सीक्वेंस ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शंस इन विच बोथ पार्टीज एंड अप एक्सपीरियंसिंग रैकेट फीलिंग्स पीपल प्ले गेम्स विदाउट बीइंग अवेयर दे आर डूइंग इट ओके सो इट इज अ सीरीज ऑफ अल्टीरियर ट्रांजेक्शन दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट सीरीज ऑफ अल्टीरियर ट्रांजेक्शन रिपीटेटिव इन नेचर बार बार आप वही करते हो विथ अ वेल डिफाइंड साइकोलॉजिकल पे ऑफ all games involve a con since the real and apparent behaviors are not the same the strokes gained from games are highly patternized kaun se life position se hum khelte hain i am not okay you are okay ya yeah, i am not okay you are not okay right okay so i am not i'm see so there are so many games but let me have these two maybe okay so why don't you yes but you know me and amrit met in a conference and amrit is uh, actually uh, um, standing for uh, ips secretary next year right and uh, he he gives me this information and i tell amrit why don't you amrit uh, start your abhi se shuru kar do campaigning ha lekin uska aisa hai ki abhi se karunga to acha nahi lagega क्यों अमृत स्टार्ट डूइंग इट ऑन डिजिटल मीडिया देन पर्सनली मैसेज भेज देना ताकि लोगों को समझ में नहीं आएगा नहीं आप बता तो रहे हो सही लेकिन फिर उसका क्या है कि अब पर्सनल मैसेज भेजने के लिए मेरे पास में टाइम कहाँ है अच्छा अमृत एक काम करो ना वाई डोंट यू डू इट ऑन संडेज देन अरे संडे को कहाँ बेटी को टाइम देता हूँ ना संडे को तो बेटी टाइम मांगती है ना तो संडे को तो मेरे लिए पॉसिबल नहीं होगा तो अमृत ऐसा करो ना फिर किसी को रख लो अपने साथ में कोई असिस्टेंट तो वो कैंपेनिंग कर देगा अपने लिए नहीं नहीं अब उतना पैसा कहाँ है मेरे पास में मैं उतना कमाता नहीं हूँ ना तो मैं दूंगा कहाँ से उसको सैलरी साल भर के लिए तो फिर तुम क्या अभी वाई डोंट यू अमृत आपके पास में तो रेसिडेंट होंगे ना किसी को काम चिपका देना ये नहीं 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 रेसिडेंट को कैसे चिपका सकूंगा हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट को समझ में आएगा तो वो तो मुझे पकड़ेगा ना ये मैं नहीं कर सकता ना आफ्टर सम टाइम आई वुड थिंक कि मैं जो भी ऑप्शन दे रही हूँ ये वाई डोंट यू पे ये बट कर रहा है और ये कोई ऑप्शन सुन ही रहा है एंड एट द एट द एट द एंड अमृत वुड से रहने दो मैं देखता हूँ क्या करना है आई वुड फील बैड दैट आई कुड नॉट हेल्प हिम एंड ही वुड ऑल्सो फील दैट देखो मुझे कोई हेल्प नहीं कर सकता लाइफ में कुछ है ही नहीं हेल्प करने जैसा मेरा लाइफ ऐसे ही है दिस इज द गेम दैट पीपल प्ले पैसिव एग्रेसिव इंडिविजुअल यूजली प्ले दिस गेम राइट नाउ आई हैव गॉट यू सन ऑफ अ बिच Uh, is a game which is commonly played between an alcoholic uh, husband and a poor kaam karne wali or paisa kamane wali lady who who actually is not dependent on him financially but continues the uh, taking up the abuse hai na roz ye marta hai fir bhi ye apna sahan kar rahi hai sahan kar rahi hai sahan kar rahi hai and a day comes when she suddenly decides to leave him he is caught unaware and then she says i have got you now son of a bitch so she plays a game of kick me initially and then i have got you son of a bitch later so that is how the game is being played there are lot many games which i don't want to get into the detail of otherwise amrit mujhe badi badi aankhe wahan se dikhayega 
Okay, so okay, so this is a drama triangle that usually happens in most of the families, even uh, including ours also. So Sunday ka acha khasa chal raha hai, subhe husband is uh, an IT professional and um, Sunday hi milta hai, to paper leke baitha hai. He has got up late, a little late, and uh, 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 he expects the wife to actually cook some nice, hearty. Uh, good breakfast, healthy breakfast, because Rosanna to bichara mar mar ke subah 8 baje jata hai, raat ko 9 baje jata hai. So wife bhi bahut uh, pyar se apna bana rahi hai kitchen mein. Lekin, lekin hota aisa hai ki wife is doing it out of an expectation ki shaam ko ye mujhe banane le jayega aur shaam ka mera dinner isse bachne wala hai. Right? So wo kitchen se bolti hai, sunte ho. Now the moment the wife says sunte ho. Uh, there is a mother-in-law coming into picture who is sitting mala japte hue, but she is completely aware of what sunte ho is going to lead to. So sunte ho leads to aaj shaam ka dinner hum bahar karenge. So uh, pati sunna sunta hai, nahi sunne jaisa karta hai because he doesn't want to actually go out. He is going out every day, so he wants to stay home. The wife wants to go out because she has been a housewife. So wo ghar pe ruki hai. तो आप ऐसा करो मेरे लिए पका के जाना तो शी से ये क्या हुआ फिर तो आपके लिए पकाना है तो फिर तो ये तो पति कहता है कि अगर कह रहे तो तुम बना के तो पवन प्लीज रिजॉइन पवन 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 देखो नो आई थिंक द इंटरनेट वाज प्लेइंग द गेम मोनाली इज लॉग्ड इन अगेन हां मोनाली इज हियर अगेन मोनाली इंटरनेट हैज प्लेड द गेम ऑन यू शी इज नॉट लिसनिंग टू यू शी इज इग्नोरिंग यू व्हाट इज दिस टाइप ऑफ ट्रांजैक्शन नोन एज <laughs> Let the expert tell this. There are a lot of senior people. Anybody has tried transaction? Hey, am I audible now? Am I yes. audible now? Yes. Okay. So, so yes, the internet yes, yes. persecuted me for some time, <laughs> and and uh, somebody has to rescue me. Any which ways. so the game the drama triangle is the husband became a victim initially of the wife's persecution of not taking care then the mother in law came as a rescuer bachche ke liye then she the wife became a persecutor to for the mother in law and this game can continue on and on with a lot of drama along with it so uh, this is something that we usually see right uh how much time left now actually time uh, time do you need madam acha us i don't know because 9:30 we have it's 9:30 we have to wind up na no no yeah 9:30 ho gaya hai ho gaya hai okay 9:30 ho gaya hai aur question ke liye the 5 7 minutes if you can wind it up we can take few questions and then bahut bore kar diya hai maine lagta hai people are frustrated they are wanting me to end it as fast as possible aisa nahi hai people are asking time kyun aaj itna jaldi ja raha hai asking for a second session yes yeah. give me a moment okay? well, let's discuss intimacy that's a good topic okay why do people play games people play games because there are advantages 
okay so you have certain weaknesses which you can project on someone else a common weak game that is being played by most of the dependent females who have lot of fears and phobias if it weren't for you khud kaam karna nahi chahti bahar jana nahi chahti par husband pe dal deti hai ki inhone kabhi chaha you can go to slide some more it will be little bigger Oh God, I'm stuck here. Shall it be uh, this way? Is it okay? Huh. Ah. Wait. Right, me the box, sir, madam. Ek. Hello. Okay. So, uh, basically, खुद की dependency, खुद के phobia को husband पे project कर दिया कि इन्होंने मुझे कभी जाने नहीं दिया बाहर. ठीक है. And then you can play this game of aunt is awful uh, that. मेरा लाइफ पूरा ऐसे चला गया एक्चुअली ये खुद करना नहीं चाहती बट द गेम दैट दे प्ले इज इफ इट वर एंड फॉर यू आई वुड हैव बीन अ वेरी सक्सेसफुल वुमन इन लाइफ समथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट ओके सो दिस रेफर्स टू हाउ इन विच एंजाइटी अराउजिंग सिचुएशन और इंटीमेसीज आर बींग अवॉइडेड सो फ्यू पीपल आर नॉट वेरी कंफर्टेबल सरेंडरिंग एंड रिस्किंग रिलेशनशिप्स सो एट दैट मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम गेम्स एक्चुअली हेल्प यू uh again i could work and fulfill myself social pseudo intimate socializing indoors team for gossips hai na mera pati aisa hai kaam karne nahi diya hamesha mujhe band kar raha tha ghar pe ghar mein biological hazards is complaining like a whiny child and uh, gripping from a persecuting parent i am okay you are not okay position so this is an arrogant oppressive position wherein she always will keep projecting it on the husband that it is because of you my life is miserable okay so we are coming to an end of it i do not want you to trouble more uh right so what do we do then what do we do in transactional analysis basically we we would want people to to move out of that we are living we are absolutely unaware playing those games again and again and staying miserable and happy in life get out of this script and we can can solve the problem potential how do we bring an autonomy we bring in a lot of awareness now awareness is important in a sense that we see hear feel and smell taste experience things as they are there is no interpretation of your own there is no filter that you are putting in when you are being aware so whenever you are aware it means that your own belief systems are not interfering with it and you are going to question your own belief systems if you feel that things are not the way you are perceiving they are spontaneity is the capacity to choose from full range of options of feeling thinking and behaving we have a very restricted way of looking at things we should be get going away with that so we have to be more spontaneous we have a capacity to choose and we have a capacity to understand which ego state is going to take us any further we have a capacity of intimacy intimacy is something which is beyond games it is an candid game free relationship with a mutual giving and receiving without exploitation this is very important word without exploitation most of the relationships are maintained for the sake of exploitation so that your internal desires urges and wants and needs are fulfilled for the sake of someone else's unhappiness so that is what we do intimacy can be one sided since the party may be candid while the other party may be completely exploitative right uh intimacy the feelings and wants to each other are without censor the social and psychological levels are congruent कोई अल्टीरियर कोई बात नहीं करता है सीधी बात करता है है ना प्लीज आर एक्सप्रेस्ड इन एन अप्रोप्रिएट मैनर ओके सो हाउ डू वी डू दर्ट एंड कम्युनिकेशन इन दैट वे सो दीज आर द फिलोसॉफिकल एजम्शन बिफोर दैट आई जस्ट शेयर वन केस हिस्ट्री विथ यू फॉर टू मिनट्स दिस इज अ सक्सेसफुल केस हिस्ट्री दैट आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर now this lady came to me with a major depression i'm going to only highlight on the major points uh major depression she came alcoholic husband right and for years together she was uh, uh, tolerating his abuse 
now uh, the she had two children she was the third child to the parents parents have been uh, uh, individuals who uh, had two uh, elder sons who were very intelligent and good looking now this girl was an average as far as intelligence as well as looks were concerned so she was always brought up in this environment which said that you are an average person not accepted humko to chahiye nahi tha par tum ho gayi aur hui bhi to aisi hui so she always had this poor self esteem she was married off with this parental contamination also which was like ki ek bar agar shaadi ho gayi to wahan se bas arthi uthegi aapko ghar pe koi jagah nahi hai now a girl with a poor self esteem married to an alcoholic thought that this is her destiny the abuse continued for years together finally she landed up into a major depression uh came to me we spoke she put on this and well on medicines but later uh as she became a little better she started talking and we spoke for many days and we realized and she was brought to an awareness that she is worthy enough to live a life of self respect and therefore uh, her her adult ego which was non existent all these years was de was was decontaminated was stabilized the ego boundaries were uh, uh, taken care of and and her life position was brought to i am okay you are okay and and then she 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 asked me a question that um, would it be possible for me to restart my education and uh, start doing something about myself she completed her bed after that she became a teacher and one fine day she had this capacity to hold the hand of her husband who was beating her black and blue and she told him on the face of it that all these years you did not allow me to complete my education all these years you kept me dependent today i am an independent female and i will not allow you this physical abuse any further she decided to move out of the marriage she got out of the marriage the husband realized that he has done a mistake after which he also came into the treatment for alcohol de addiction at a different place and both of them are living happily together so uh, this is a success story another story before we end is a failure story from my side and failures are such a beautiful learning and i want to share it on the, this on this forum is because psychotherapy is such a beautiful science and art and you have to be very careful doing that now this case i failed miserably and i want to share this because it was such a insightful learning for me as an individual what had happened is uh, early years of uh, psychotherapeutic training wherein you are all over enthusiastic over confident over indulgent and think that you are smart enough to play god figure in people's life same happened with me too so uh, this this girl was being referred to me by a dermatologist and this dermatologist told me that she keeps picking her uh, skin and has got black spots all over her face as well as her body now uh, her mother and she came the mother was so very upset about the girl going through this uh, the girl was 18 years of age very beautiful just like ashwara rai only thing is ashwara rai with black spots all over now the mother was very miserable she cried and i also genuinely felt instead of feeling empathy i felt sympathy for the mother and i missed the point and when the girl shared her story i realized that she doesn't know whether she picks her skin and it happens in an unawareness mode uh later when i put her on antidepressants she was doing well but then i started realizing certain dynamics going wrong between the mother and the child and when i actually got a little more aware i realized that the mother has been uh, someone who has actually encouraged this kind of behavior now the mother uh, when when i realized this i also started observing that the mother was actually very ugly looking and the child was absolutely beautiful so kind of pathological jealousy between the mother and the child i could see and the mother had seen to it you know where the story was when the father was young and the child was uh, a child the father used to actually look at the child in a very admirable and a very um, uh, what you can say appreciative way which actually put off the mother and the mother was always being said that you are such an ugly lady you are such an ugly lady and this beautiful girl is not something that you deserve or ye uh, kaisa mismatch hai something of that sort the husband always used to now this girl this mother had a child inside her who was always battered for being ugly and carried this kind of an unworthiness within herself so she 
she she somehow i do not i could not get into the details of this story wherein i did not understand from where this started this this skin picking started but um then we both realized the client and me realized that okay this is something which is coming from there that was the moment the client decided not to come to me and the mother also decided not to bring the child to me this is because then the game would be over and from my side the mistake that i did was this confrontation to the client was done very early very early confrontation this should have been done a little later when i would have had the complete story in hand and would have done in it, it in a more, more sensitive empathetic compassionate and a kind way but because i was over enthusiastic and over indulgent the confrontation was done very early and this led to me not helping her so uh, this is something that i just wanted to share so i would want to end it with a poem if you permit me the stage is all yours so i walked down the street which is an essence and spirit of transactional analysis so i a take home lesson for all of you is all of us are okay let us understand the goodness in each other respect each other as individuals who have got and capacity uh to uh capacity to actually capacity to actually change the decisions and destiny in your life so we are capable of that and this is a, a very beautiful revelation that transactional analysis does to us so uh the poem that i would like which is the spirit of transactional analysis is i walk down the street there is a deep hole in the sidewalk i fall in i am lost i am helpless it isn't my fault it takes forever to find out i walk down the street there is a deep hole in the sidewalk i pretend i don't see it i fall again i can't believe i am in the same place but it isn't my fault it still takes a long time to get out i walk down the same street there is a deep hole in the sidewalk i see it is there i still fall in it it's a habit now my eyes are open i know where i am it is my fault i get out immediately i walk down the same street there is a deep hole in the sidewalk i walk around it i walk down another street so what i expect all of us to do is walk down another street if there is a deep hole in your destiny there are many streets around venture out trust yourself be yourself thank you so much thank you so much thank you manali alin yeah. is already 9:44 yeah. ha huh, so so uh, i think we we have less of questions today because already the uh, we have an time restraint manali uh, what was the game that internet was playing with you isko hum kya bolenge ha boliye jo internet ne aapke sath game bola tha kick me tha मेरा मेरा किक में है इंटरनेट के साथ में रिश्ता ओके okay. मैं सुधर नहीं रही हूं उसके साथ में सीख okay. नहीं रही सो आई आई जस्ट वांट इट टू प्ले प्ले विद मी ओके मनाली थैंक यू सो मच इतना बहुत अच्छा प्रेजेंटेशन था आई थिंक व्हाट वी नीड इज अनदर सेशन बिकॉज़ इट इज ऑलमोस्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक जो जो दूसरा सब्जेक्ट हम पढ़ रहे हैं वैसा लग रहा है सो 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 आई थिंक इफ वी हैव अ सेशन जिसमें हम एक केस को डिस्कस करेंगे probably personality jaisa jisme personality issues ho so i think that would be a, a, a real i open it to you so so yeah. uh, uh, should we uh, sir can we take a few questions uh, if if the chair persons allow oh yeah you can take the questions thank you sir yeah so so the participants can put in the question in the chat box uh, there was a thing uh, so so uh, i'll start with a question i uh, someone put in uh, we are born with a genetic makeup we are born with a print so so 
people are basically okay so i think uh, what we are trying to do is trying to change the people's perspective relationship by this intervention uh, monali would you say it is like that see uh, basically as an individual when we are born okay we get a different kind of experiences in this world which might make us believe that we are not okay individuals so if uh, i'll give you an example uh, how how the belief systems are formed now as a child i am hungry i am an infant i am completely dependent and vulnerable on my mother to feed me in time so i cry and i demand now the mother is busy in kitchen unhone abhi roti rakhi hai sekne ke liye and actually the moment i cry the mother is unable to come and uh, take care of me but i am not in a state where in i understand that the mother is sacrificing roti and therefore she won't be able to come and see me immediately and i have to be a little patient with myself because my hunger becomes an actual death instinct for me i feel i might not survive as an infant so what happens is i feel that my mother can't be trusted and for a child the parents are the world so the generalization the child would do is people can't be trusted because they do not come and fulfill what you want from them so this is the belief system that comes if you have inconsistent parenting wherein sometimes it is fulfilled sometimes it is not fulfilled a lot of confusion regarding trust issues people might have so this is how the experiences that we get actually get in our personalities and that is how we start putting things in action later in our life unawarely and that shapes our destiny so that is not a more generic question uh, suppose just some cognitive distortions ki baat karte hain and we try to correct cognitive distortions so that thing in cbt and this thing in uh, ta so are these different ways of doing the same thing ya ye bilkul alag cheez hai what is your your comment on no they they are they are different ways of doing the same thing of course we work on distortions because the distortions are coming in from the child ego state we have a lot of contamination there we have a lot of contamination from the parent ego state contaminating the adult so we decontaminate uh, uh, material we see if we can exclude something if need be and what we need to do, do is we need to uh, improve on the ego boundaries bring in that awareness so of course we those belief systems and distortions uh um, which is a different way of working so an adult kind of logical analytical thinking is encouraged ek badi positive thing jo mujhe samajh mein aati hai the language that you are using there are games there are scripts i think when we go to lay person uh ye cheez i think it will click very well with them uh, these words are very known words so the games we are that we are playing kya script write ho raha hai what are the strokes so i i think it has a lot of potential jaise ki industrial psychology mein log jaate hain aur we are working on the lay person so usme to explain these things suppose if you are doing family therapy so so yes. i think if we are knowledgeable in ta and if are able to use some of the constructs so mujhe matlab mujhe aisa lagta hai ki hame patient ko ye baat samjhane mein badi aasani hogi ki this is the game and you have to change the yes. game ha huh. uh alim i would want you to understand one thing here i am uh, actually uh, a big uh, a fan of ta because ta is a very simplified science uh, which can which is very palatable and relatable to people but as you said ki hum ye nahi uh, karte hain ki uh, uh, aap ye game kar rahe ho ye confrontation aisa is tarah kaise nahi hota hum ye karte ki kahan se aa raha hai batao kahan se aa raha hai तो वो अपने आप बोलता है कि हाँ ये मेरा चाइल्ड लिखो स्टेट है सी ऑल द कंसेप्ट्स आर बीइंग एक्सप्लेन्ड टू दीज पीपल इन इनिशियल साइकोथेरेपिटिक सेशंस एंड देन वंस द पर्सन इज सेइंग समथिंग वी आस्क द सेम पर्सन आपको क्या लगता है कहाँ से आ जाइए तो दिस दे स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग इट दे स्टार्ट आइडेंटिफाइंग इट वेरी ब्यूटिफुली एंड देन वी आस्क क्या लगता है आपको क्या क्या कर रहे हो आप तो वो बोलता है कि ये ये कि मुझे मुझे आदत पड़ गई है ना अब ये जो मैंने केस आपको बताया जहां पर दिस लेडी एक्चुअली गॉट आउट ऑफ दिस अब्यूजिव एंड टॉक्सिक रिलेशनशिप विद एन अल्कोहलिक हस्बैंड शी सेड कि आई एम यूज्ड टू दिस थिंग बिकॉज इट प्रूव्स दैट आई एम एवरेज एंड आई एम वर्दी ऑफ सच एन अल्कोहलिक हस्बैंड हु अब्यूजेस मी 
क्योंकि बचपन से मुझे यही बताया गया है कि तुम भाइयों जैसी नहीं हो बोथ ऑफ देम आर डॉक्टर्स एंड दे आर गुड लुकिंग एंड यू आर दिस काइंड ऑफ एन पर्सन सो दिस इज and she said in front of you that i felt that okay i can value myself as a human being i never knew this so this kind of insights we have to bring in uh, people thank 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 you okay. amrit uh, madam uh, we have one or two questions which are based on uh, how to practice uh, ta in clinical settings with patients what is the selection criteria how many sessions what should be the average duration of a session Okay, I will. Somebody wants to. Put. Average duration of sessions minimum forty-five to one hour. At times, if the script is open, it can go to one and half hour. Also, if the script is open and you don't want to leave uh, with uh, a Pandora's box and the worms moving around, sometimes it happens that way. So forty-five minutes minimum, one and half hour maximum. Uh, how many sessions? No limits. No limits at all. One. Uh, Case which, if I get ever a chance, I would like to share four and half years, four and half hours, years with me. Four times. Madam, people will ask about timeline. They not as they come and ask us what is the timeline. No, boy. Abi, abi, personal growth or interpersonal relationship, which have been built up, in this, we can give time. How can we give time? In this, we can't give time. Now, if someone has such a built-up script, now in this case, that four and half years, I am telling you, was a insensual relationship between the doctor and the patient. Now, in this case, that four and a half years, I am telling you, was a insensual relationship between the mother and the son. two broken marriages two broken marriages and the third marriage is uh, saved after the psychotherapeutic intervention has a child 11 years old now you get my point to isko to samay lagta nahi bahut nazuk cheez hai to aisa time span hum nahi de sakte and what 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 else you wanted to know what is the selection criteria how do you select yes. somebody yes and and a florid acute psychotic person of course not until his psychosis is taken care of or uh, 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 Of course, a manic you are you are not able to talk to, not not these people currently when they are into an acute phase of that. But yes, does that mean we do not work on psychosis? We do work on psychosis. We have to align their boundaries. We have to see to it that the delusion softens. We have to see to it that they at least become a little bit of uh, aware under the uh, medications. Once um, the medicines have helped them calm down, we have to improve their self worth because I suppose every one. uh who gets into psychosis has got a poor self esteem and poor self worth so we can definitely work on those areas and we strengthen their adults so that they get into some kind of an action mode wherein they they start rehabilitating themselves also as an individual so uh, yes acute cases we do not do anything but another thing is another thing in ta is two things one is the client has to be ready for an open communication and second is she has to get into a contract with the therapist that okay i'm going to put in my best to change certain aspects of my life uh aha ek bahut important cheez main batana sometimes the client might want you to be a part of game which says that i'm trying my best do you get my point i'm trying my best to na marriage counseling mein kai baar ye hota hai ki court mein ja kar ye banda ye ja kar bolta hai ki i tried my best humne to marriage counseling bhi kar liya but things have failed so the wisdom of the therapist has to be there that awareness of the therapist has to be there and we can't be believing that we can have miraculous results uh, where in the client is playing games even with us so cons consulting room games definitely are there and uh, uh, patients can see to it that you hook into it by saying that hamara uh, akhri sahara ho ho ya akhri sahara nahi hote hum duniya mein bahut sahara dene wale aapse behtar therapists baithe hue hote hain but there is a reason he has chosen you and he has got some ulterior hidden agenda that he is here we have to be very vigilant in those cases also so yeah, if uh, and ready for uh, an open contract and communication uh, yes i think uh, people can come and take help Uh, there is a question ki uh, how does it work with ocd and ocpd okay uh, see uh, personality disorders ocpd and borderline narcissistic there is a specific way and there is a specific systematic way of doing it wherein you work on the trap door you work on the uh, uh, behavioral patterns uh, you you see from why the child is fearful from where this uh, is coming up the child ego state and uh, uh, we need to decommission it if uh, the adult is commissioned with the child so it works in ocd and ocpd also 
but uh, moreover i would say cbt works better i am trained in uh, cognitive behavior therapy also so if you ask my personal choice cognitive behavior therapy i would say uh, does a better work in cbt and os osepd of course ta you can use all personality disorders you can use ta and ta has got a vast immense work in personality disorders okay uh, there is a question uh, how is it helpful in dealing with childhood abuse uh, childhood abuse yeah gautam da has asked uh, go- childhood abuse in the sense childhood sexual abuse or uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. child abuse okay see whenever a child is abused whenever a child is abused we have to understand that uh the child is going to get a little more fearful scared and uh, his perception about the external world is going to change so a lot of contamination might happen in uh, his case uh when we are dealing with such children i recently dealt with a case uh, day before yesterday when we are dealing with such children the first and foremost thing is we are not going to get into any hurry to correct whatever has been wronged earlier number 2 we have to have a lot of empathetic listening mode to such a person number 3 we are not going to judge this person from our critical parent saying that how have you contributed to the such and such stuff number 4 is uh, the child himself might have a wrong belief system which carries a lot of guilt around uh, 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 the experience that he or she has and a lot of trust issues later in life because of the abuse that he or she has experienced so one has to work on those areas but it is a work which has to go a little longer uh, after listening to the complete story and that too with a lot of compassion and kindness and a lot of openness about this thing so uh, i suppose uh, a child gets into a life position of i am not okay and therefore i got this experience people are also not okay can be a futile uh, uh, thing that they might get into so we have to bring in this past and see to it that the over generalization that they might do later has to go away with i hope i have answered it is a long work actually i can't uh, crystallize it sahasan no, 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 sahasan no, no, no. sure 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 sure, sure, sure. Uh, doctor uh, there is a question uh, from dr simi ma'am uh, here are also many unconscious factors that are presumed so does just teaching about the ego states and transactions help to uncover the unconscious life script okay so uh, actually within this one and half hour we did not get into a lot of script uh, things uh, basically injunctions counter injunctions commands attributions permissions are something which is a vast area of work and script analysis is a complete part of uh, uh, transactional analysis which has its own uh, questionnaire that is to be given to the client and you have to find out regarding the script of parents also and uh, uh, see from where things are coming certain things run in the family uh, so uh, there are lots of things associated with this so script analysis is definitely a major junk of work a transactional analyst has to do and uh, that brings in a lot of insights within this one and a half year hour i hardly have touched i have in fact uh, not touched a lot of concepts in script because uh, we were running short of time so there are a lot of other concepts also in script uh, how 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 many permissions have we got as a child so we did not speak about permissions at all so i, I suppose uh, analysis done in a proper manner will bring a lot of awareness in the unconscious Doctor Alim, yes, it's sir. already ten. I think we'll <laughs> okay. call it again and take a lot of questions. I think we'll hand it over to the chairpersons for their remarks. Doctor Abhyankar, is he there? Okay. Ravi, you are not there. तो नहीं है सर आप आई थिंक इट्स इट्स ऑल राइट इट्स ऑल राइट इट वाज अ वेरी यूनिक प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन अ वेरी यूनिक टॉपिक एंड आई थैंक स्पीकर डॉक्टर मोनाली फॉर दैट 
and i thank dr sufan sati dr siddiqui and dr amrit for giving us opportunity to chair this session uh, one suggestion would be that um, in case the presenter is ready uh, we can have one more detailed presentation taking uh, cases actual cases and how the ta was performed uh, and what were, were the results and that would probably complete the this presentation uh, thank you good night thank you so much sir dr tofan pati sir okay it was a very marvelous presentation but the only shortcoming was you. that is there are many things many people wanted to know more things and time was the constraint so i agree to dr trivedi we will have another session and maybe whatever question is in the chat box will be sent to you you can see it and that should be more interactive we yeah. should go case by case and discuss so that that will be more illuminating if you are agreeable we will meet you again that will sure, be sure. and i would i would want this uh, questions being sent to me so that yeah. maybe we will we'll send next session we will we'll, we'll we'll send that will better and uh, we can yeah. we can answer this in the next session that will be uh, So in this group, we have some attended. We I shall share your email ID with your consent or our email ID. The participants can also mail that questions before the next meeting we have. Sure, sir. Uh, sir, I think OP sir and. Ah, uh, we have three senior people there. We, I am asking. Yeah. We'll start with Doctor yeah. OP sir. No, no. Uh, it is a email. great session. I think that uh, we need two sessions. First is the uh, laying the foundation, and second is use in therapy. and uh, obviously monali as always is uh, has done justice to this it is a great interesting thank you, session thank you sir thank you sir. and thank you to dr tufan pati alim and amrit for bringing this thursday music to all of us so thank you thank you for introducing monali to the this to our platform we we watched her there we had been talking about a lot but she needed a lot of time but i told that if you can adjust with dr op sir you have to adjust with us also with the time limit or whatever it is dr so that is very oh, oh. that is very unjust actually uh, this very unjust i would uh, request the stalwarts in ips to try and provide platforms to these emerging teachers on subjects like ta so musings could probably lead in taking uh, uh you know uh, some sort of responsibility to try because none of us were ever exposed to uh ta in our uh, formative years so so that is very rather unfortunate so there are many people like me who would like to learn at my age also yes so yes just like monali yes. should be uh, given a platform to do that under the auspices of the indian psychiatric society that's my submission thank you and great program ali So ah. we are also we are also a small child of the IPS ah. the IPS OSB and uh, we have given them chance and yeah, maybe yeah. in the yeah, 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 big, and this is a big plan. It's an excellent it's an a... excellent concept of Tupan Patti and you guys. So you need to we need to do that and Gautam Dada yeah. is always here. So we should try and get something very innovative. Yes, Dr. Doom, I I am hundred percent agree with you. Yeah, yeah. And Monali has do done that. excellent job. Thank you, sir. And uh, excellent job. it was really so lucid presentation in fact we need to think from ips also i agree with that we have to think to do something else and monali should take the charge of it i am really that i am fully sure, agree sir. with dr hey. dumey so monali has and given charge of thanks Dr. to dr, dr. tufan puti <laughs> he has done a wonderful job along with my two brothers amrit and alim they are always to you alim smiling and cheerful who is closer and, to you amrit or ali <laughs> and one Aling, thing Aling. is uh, monali is, has to do regarding the ta with the amrit why loki is not he is taking <laughs> we'll <laughs> we'll know later on i'll do the needful sir, sir. sir i'll do the amrit needful amrit aayega to loki banega abhi to i'll do the needful <laughs> do we have Dr. Rup Sidana? He he is a, he is a senior psychiatrist who who uses TA in his practice. Dr. Sidana, sir, sir, you are there. 
गुड इवनिंग एंड इट्स बीन वंडरफुल अटेंडिंग दी टी ए आई वॉज रिमाइंडेड ऑफ माई डेज ड्यूरिंग माई एम बी बी एस वेन आई वॉज एक्सपोज टू ट्रांजेक्शन एनालिसिस ड्यूरिंग माई इंटर्नशिप फॉर टू मंथ्स इन साइकेट्री एवरीबडी वॉज प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिसिंग टी ए इन डे टू डे इंट्रैक्शन एंड टी ए वॉज यूज फॉर फैकल्टी मेंबर्स ड्यूरिंग ट्रेनिंग फॉर सी एम सी ए ऑल द टीचर्स वर गिवन टी ए ट्रेनिंग ओवर वीकेंड्स एंड आई हैव यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट नॉट टी ए एज सच बट यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द गेम्स यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एडल्ट चाइल्ड एंड पेरेंट ईगो इन रेगुलर काउंसिलिंग सेशन विद माई क्लाइंट्स एंड आई फील दैट वी नीड अ वर्कशॉप फॉर अ वीकेंड वंस द pandemic clears off from the ips for people who are interested in ta and that okay should... sir okay sir. yeah i w- i have a suggestion i have a suggestion see uh, when i have been giving ta workshops ta workshop is two and half days minimum workshop 9 to 7 throughout the day then only uh, you can actually give justice to all the concept yeah. yes amrit aapko law ke khila khila ke workshop attend karna padega हलीम कर लेगा चलो थैंक यू ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ आई पी एस ओएस बी है फॉर्मल थैंक यू थैंक यू मोनाली यू बीन वंडरफुल्यूज टॉपिक एंड यू कवर्ड इट वेल आई एम सॉरी that you wanted more uh, time but then we tried our best we stretched it to the maximum no no what dr trivedi suggested amrit please one minute what dr trivedi suggested one case presentation how to handle with a case you can organize one day more on one session so that we have already talked before the start of session and monali is agreeable to that Agreed. probably yeah. a borderline right. borderline borderline personality borderline. disorder which is in rice borderline personality yeah. disorder which is in rice can be taken on yes madam yes. we'll do one thing we will uh, we'll definitely madam. do another session and certainly we'll decide it and very certainly we'll decide it and anybody who wants can put questions to monali or amrit it will be consolidated so that she comes prepared knowing what people need listen want to listen and if required if it is educative we may have a third session also it does not matter great if audience requests this is our dr tufan pati yes <laughs> great initiative thank, thank you sir. thank you sir sir and, and we could also hear monali talk you know she is a poet and i am subject to and, some of her torture and and she the dancer also she also dance anyway thank you <laughs> thank that you. is that is your dr dr avan dr ashok sir they have been very patient they have always supported us asking questions stretching the whole session to 10 o'clock thank you chairpersons thank you dr tufan sir for agreeing to the whole concept and asking uh, calling monali and all thank you to all our senior functionaries rajesh sir gautam sir op singh sir you know Dr. Sidana, we had Dr. G. Prasad Rao sir, and we had lot of Dr. Nimesh Desai was also on stage today. Thank you so much. Thank you IPS OSB for hosting this whole thing, allowing us to do the play the way we want to. Thank you so much. Thank you Torrent. Thank you Pavan. Pavan's WhatsApp has been hacked today. I don't know how. He told me so. I I just managed to remove him. So that's the game people play. And thank you to myself. and no thanks to alin he always takes away most of the question that were allowed me to ask questions <laughs> thank you so much thank you all thank, thank you for the question we had more than 350 you, registrations and maybe 250 or 260 people were logged in we had logged in 190 people consistently so monali you are happy with the figures i am always happy with whatever figures you are happy with the figures thank no, no. you so much so you are these these are the people who are deeply interested you can see i uh, just uh, even at 9:30 the attendance was quite high it was on 70 something or 80 so 9:30 is our closing time because people have to go and cook and all people like alim and all have to go and cook no any good night thank you so much <laughs> good night everyone thank, thank you so bye, much bye, for having me here today thank you so much thank you alim bhai alim bhai Alright. Yeah. Good night.